Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Run Talk with Todd. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to keep going when you wanna give up during your race, how to make it to the finish line time after time. Uh, let's get going. All right guys, today was day 252 on my run streak. Uh, definitely feeling really good out there, feeling pretty fit right now. Uh, I got a big race that I'm training for uh, coming up in November, uh, another attempt at a 100 miler. So definitely trying to get the miles in. And as of today, we've got 113 days left this year. So really, really feeling good that we're almost to the home stretch in, uh, in the run goal uh, for the year. Now today we're gonna to be talking about how to not give up uh, when you're in a race, when you're trying to get to the finish line, not let that negativity creep into your head and um, make sure that you can get to the finish line and, and feel really you know, good, feel that sense of uh, pride and achievement that you get when you cross the finish line. So I do wanna say a couple things before we start getting into the uh, kind of the meat of what we're gonna talk about today. Number one, definitely uh, it's okay to drop from a race if you're dealing with an injury. So if you get injured, if you, you know, twist your ankle or something worse out there during a race, don't feel bad about dropping. It is okay to drop if there's something serious that you're dealing with. We don't want anybody, you know, risking further injury because they dropped. This is more on the, the mental side. How do you get over those mental blocks to get to the finish line? The second thing is, I've dropped before from races. So yeah, this is not me coming from a place of, you know, I've never dropped, so this is what I've done to never drop. Uh, I've dropped from a marathon before and I've dropped last year from my first attempt at 100 miles. Uh, so these are some of the things that, uh, that I've learned in completing races that I've wanted to maybe drop out of and then also learn from dropping out of races and thinking back and going, gosh, if I had done this a little bit different or maybe you know, hadn't let these negative thoughts get into my head, uh, you know, I could have made it to the finish line. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So number one, um, you never hear people say that they regret keep uh, finishing a race or keeping going in a race. So I wanna kind of put that out there. You know, whenever I have a, a really long run or again, a race that I'm really struggling through, um, I always have a mantra that kind of plays in my head, which is pain is temporary. It's gonna be over at some point. It's gonna be over some point soon, most likely. Um, I just need to get through that next 30 minutes or that next hour. Um, and so if you can kind of think that way that this is all temporary and it is going to end at some point. I feel like for me, that puts me, uh, changes my, the mentality a little bit. And now I can start thinking, okay, I can push through. I can, I can make it because I know this is not a forever pain. This is a, a temporary thing. So kind of using that as my baseline here. Um, ways that I think you can go about, you know, again, so you're, uh, you're struggling a little bit with, uh, you know, the negative thoughts creeping in. Oh my gosh, I, you know, I hurt so bad right now. I just want to, you know, be done. You know, maybe this is mile 16 to 20 in a marathon and things are not feeling very good. And you're going, how the heck am I going to make it that next 10 miles? Um, so this is some stuff that's helped me. Number one, set micro goals. And so what I mean by micro goals, rather than chunking that into, okay, I have 10 more miles to go, which at that point can feel like an eternity. Um, even if you're saying to yourself, okay, it's gonna end at some point, 10 miles can feel like a long time, chunk it down. So let me just get to that street light, or let me just get to the next aid station. If I can do that, and then I can reset my micro goal to just hit that next stoplight or just hit that next aid station again. And you do that enough times and pretty soon before you know it, you're you know at the finish or you've got two miles left and uh, you know your mindset's completely changed. So those micro goals, very, very important. Number two, it's knowing that bad patches and races are very normal, especially the longer you go. So uh, marathons, you may go through a bad patch or two during the race. When I say bad patch, what I mean is you're just not feeling good. Something's hurting, uh, you're bloating, you know, you're, you're feeling nauseous, whatever the case may be, uh, that's, that's normal. And the farther you go, so if you, let's say running a marathon, maybe running a 50K next or a 50 miler, the amount of bad patches you actually may go through uh, increase. And so over, you know, as again, as you go longer, if you're running an ultra marathon, you may go through four, five, six bad patches over the course of a race. 
but they come and they go. You may feel really bad one minute and within 30 minutes by changing something, by drinking a little bit more, by having some calories, uh, it can completely change your race and you feel good again. And I've seen this happen in person. I've experienced it myself. Um, I'll tell just a quick story. Again, last year I attempted a hundred mile, I didn't finish. Uh, about mile 35 or so, I was not feeling very good. I was nauseous. I uh, didn't think I was going to be able to keep going. Um, I, I pulled into a convenience store and bought a big bag of Doritos. Not usually race food, but when you're going, trying to go 100, mile, 100 miles, uh, calories are calories at that point. I ate a bag of Doritos and literally within 20 minutes, I felt great. I felt so good again. And 20 minutes earlier, uh, I didn't think I could you know, keep going. I certainly didn't feel like I was gonna make it to uh, a 100 mile finish. So small changes and small amounts of time can make big, big differences uh, as, your distance, uh, as your distance goes up. Number three, uh, it's a really a big pain to get to the finish line of a race when you drop. And what I mean by that is, uh, in the races that I've dropped from before, trying to get, actually physically get to the finish line, to try to find somebody to give me a ride, to try to call an Uber, to try to get a family member to where I was, you know, with road closures and all that type of stuff, it's a pain in the butt to try to get from where you are to get to the finish line. Honestly, it's probably easier just to keep going, even if you have to walk or slow way down, uh, keep on going. It's probably gonna be faster and easier to get to the finish line that way versus trying to get a ride uh, to the finish line of the race. So just don't deal with the pain in the butt, man. Keep going. And then the very last thing, um, if you're not going to hit a time goal, so this is a reason I've seen a lot of people drop uh, from races. I have this big A, you know, uh, a goal and maybe a B goal as well, and I'm not going to hit these goals. You know, I wanted to run a, a 130 half marathon today as my A goal, and my B goal was to run 133. And we're halfway through the race, uh, and you know you're not going to hit those goals. Um, and I've seen I've seen people drop for that reason. Well, I'll just save it for another day. For me, I think the the right strategy in that case is, you know what, you're not going to hit your A, you're not going to hit your B turn that race into a, a a long training run or just a training run in general and get to the finish line uh, finish the race uh, because i think dropping breeds dropping or quitting breeds quitting i think it's a lot easier to quit a race once you've already quit once and once you do it a couple times in fairly close uh, proximity it kind of turns into a, a pattern or a habit and so even if you know you're not going to hit your goal on that day back off the the pace uh, back off the goal, turn it, turn it into a training run, and then live to fight another day, you know, then two weeks later, a month later, two months later, uh, where you can go after that goal again. So for me, those are all things that have kind of played into me, sticking into races, not giving up. Um, so we'll go over those one more time. One, set small micro goals in those races so that, you know, just get to that next stoplight or just get to that next aid station. Two, understand that bad patches are normal. Um, everyone goes through them to some degree during a, a race and the farther the race goes, the more bad patches are, are likely and the more you may deal with during an event. Three, it's a pain in the butt to get back to the finish line, so just keep going. Uh, and four, if you're not gonna hit your time goal, it's okay to abandon ship on the time goal and, uh, and just treat it as a training run. Think of those things, do those things, you're gonna get to your next finish line and I'm gonna see you out there at the next race that you're at. Have a good one, we'll see you on the road.